Hi guys. Oh, it looks like the Speaker of the House of Commons, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, has just landed himself in deep trouble. So on Wednesday following PMQs, it was Opposition Day, and the SNP were able to table a motion to call for a ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza conflict. The day before, it wasn't clear what would happen with amendments, be them Tory, Labour or SNP. Keir Starmer was in a bit of a fix, as he could face a rebellion within his party to vote a particular way on what the SNP were putting forward. Then this happened. Well, there has been fury inside the Commons Chamber and real drama and intrigue going on uh, outside uh, in the Speaker's office, no less. Now, the Speaker's decision uh, to select uh, the Labour amendment as well as the Conservative uh, amendment is a massive relief to Labour, but it's provoked fury from Conservative MPs. Now, the Speaker, in his very controversial statement, mentioned that he was making public a letter to him from the clerk of the House of Commons, that's Tom Goldsmith. And in this letter, Tom Goldsmith tells the Speaker, you are breaking convention, you are going against standing orders, but, but it, is, uh, uh, against, uh, it, it, it is your discretion. So the, the, uh, the Speaker, it looks like, has made a decision on his own without consulting his deputies, including two Conservatives, Eleanor Lang and Nigel Evans. But the real drama and controversy is the pressure that's been put on Sir Lindsay to make the, uh, the, to make the decision that he has. I'm told that uh, both Sir Keir Starmer and uh, Sir Alan Campbell, the Chief Whip, were in the Speaker's office, really putting pressure on him to select the Labour amendment. Tory MPs are claiming that they even threatened to move against him and remove him from the Speaker's chair uh, if he didn't select the Labour amendment. Now, Tory MPs are furious. Over the next few days, we're going to see all sorts of uh, moves by some Tory MPs to get rid of Sir Lindsay. This has been the most controversial moment of his time as Speaker. It is exactly like uh, the rows over John Burko's rulings on Brexit a few years back. Sir wow, OK, so Sir Lindsay Hoyle is in deep trouble. Um, it seems that the Conservatives and the SNP are calling for his head. It seems that he was pressured by Keir Starmer to back um, this this amendment, to allow this amendment to go to a vote. Um, and he acted alone. Now, it seems that Keir Starmer was quite aggressive when it comes to this, that he put an immense pressure on the Speaker and threatened to have him kicked out. This is unprecedented, and this is uh, very concerning because... The Speaker is supposed to act impartially or as impartially as possible. And if Keir Starmer is playing dirty tricks, then we should be concerned. Because he's supposed to, the Speaker is supposed to look at the amendments put forward and decide based on the merit of those mer amendments. But if, he, if he's been pressured by his party, because remember, he is a member of the, of the Labour Party, and he's been threatened, it seems, that he won't be allowed to run again in the next election. Um, this is, these are really dirty, dirty tricks to be engaging in. Like I had said uh, during the live stream that what Keir Starmer should have done is put this to a free vote of his MPs, and then the, the MPs can vote whatever way they want, uh, according to their conscience, and he wouldn't be embarrassed by a rebellion. But it seems he wanted to avoid a rebellion, uh, to whip his party, and he wanted the the Speaker of the House to go along with this. So there is going to be a massive amount of pressure on the Speaker to clarify, and maybe he will be removed. And this would be more drama on a day that the, sh the focus should be on the people of Gaza. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.